siku ya KTN la asiri hii na kama ile taarifa ambayo nilitoa kusomea hapo awali ni kwamba serikali imesema haitokoma kutekeleza ule mpango unaoendelea wa mfumo mpya wa elimu unaojikita katika umilisi ambao unalenga kuboresha sekta ya elimu humu nchini Waziri wa Elimu Profesa George Magoha amesema mpango huo unaendelea vizuri na hamna anayeweza kukomesha ama kusimamisha wakati huu ambapo serikali imeshika kasi kutekeleza. Alisema hayo akiwa katika chuo kikuu cha Pwani kilichoko kaunti ya Kilifi ambako walimu walikuwa wakifunzwa jinsi ya kutekeleza mfumo huo. Can you looking at the, the 844 which started actually in 1995 and the faults of that system they, we kept on looking at them and saying perhaps it can be corrected this way, it can be corrected this way. And in 2012, there was a task force which was formed, which formed the, the blueprint of what, where we are today. We, first of all, I want to debunk the, the fact that Kenya will ever be completely ready for, a, for the CBC. Forget about that one. There is no time that the country will be completely ready for the CBC. So the fact that the country was bold enough to roll this out in January is good enough. And having said so, I want to say that we have gone through most of those processes that people are disputing. For example, meetings of stakeholders have been taking place. There was one in 2016, there was one in 2017, and I want to say that there was one scheduled for August last year which was cancelled. And as Minister for Education now, I take full responsibility for it. But going forward, I'm not going to cry and say, let's go and start again. In terms of policy, the policy framework for this CBC was ready. It was ready earlier than last year. And we, the reason why it was not launched is because we were hoping to launch it together with the, with, the, with the session of paper. I'm hoping that that policy shall be launched on Monday. Naibu Speaker wa katika bunge la kaunti ya Migori George Obamba amevuliwa madaraka wakati wa mjadala moto ambao uliofanyika katika majengo ya bunge la kaunti ya Migori. Wawakilishi wadi 46 kati ya 57 walipiga kura kumuondoa mamlakani wakitia saini zao huku wawili wakidinda kutia saini zao kutokana na ukuruba walionao na naibu wa spika huyo kulingana na mwakilishi wadi wa Kalera Thomas Akugo waliamua kupitisha kura ya kutokuwa na imani na naibu wa spika huyo kutokana na kutojali kwake akipuuzili mbali ile idadi kuu ya wanaodhibiti bunge la kaunti kiongozi wa walio wengi katika bunge la kaunti hiyo Ronald Asiga aliwashukuru wawakilishi wadi kwa hatua walioichukua very happy because what basically wanted was harmony and order in the assembly and in Migori County at large. And from our, from, from, from what we had in mind, we wanted a deputy speaker who can actually coordinate the assembly membership, the assembly staff with the, with the service board and the assembly management, who can actually serve the interests of members, who can serve our interests and actually try to send our interest to the management and even to the executive. Kwingineko ugomvi kuhusu uongozi wa kanisa la PAG kitaifa sasa umezua taharuki katika kanisa hilo kaunti ya vihiga. Leo baadhi ya waumini kutoka maeneo yote chini wamekuma, o, nchini wamekongamana katika makao makuu ya kanisa hilo. Wamesitiza kuwa kiongozi wa kanisa hilo askofu Patrick Lihanda wamedai amechaguliwa katika uchaguzi huru na nisharti ya ungoze kwa mda wa miaka mitano. Hai na mtu yoyote ni wachache tu ambao wamejipa mamlaka na tunataka tulipinge jambo lile ili neema za Mungu zisimame na kanisa la PAG sisi tunaheshimu kanisa tunaheshimu taifa letu la Kenya tunaheshimu koti zetu lakini Wapenzi maneno haya ya wafikie wajumbe ambao ni watawala wa serikali ya kwamba pia tunatafuta msaada wao. Wakati kama huu, mana ni sisi waombezi wa taifa. Kwa hivyo, sisi tumemaliza maneno ya kura, kura kwa kitaifa, tumemaliza. Tumemaliza tena kura ya majimboni, districts, na hawa ndio uh, baraza lote la halma shauri ya PAG Kenya ni wale ambao wamekuja kuingia kwenye ofisi hapa Nyangori ni watu wasioeleweka wamevunja offices za kanisa 
wamekuja na vijana ambao walikodisha tujui ni mikora na ukweli wa mambo ni mikora kwa sababu wengine tulishuhudia siku hiyo hata askari akiwashika au vijana na kuweka pingu lakini jambo la ajabu paka dakika hii tunazungumza hakuna mtu amepelekwa kotini tunauliza swali ya kwamba walioshikwa walipelekwa wapi nambari mbili mtu kuja hapa mission station na apige marisasi Uh, bado tunauliza hilo swali na tunauliza hata serikali paka leo hii na kama alimashauri kuu ya kanisa la PG Kenya. Huyu mtu aliyepiga marisasi paka saa hizi ni nini kimefanyika kwake? Kwa sababu tunamuona akitembea tu na anaingia hata mission station hii ni kufanya watu wawe na uoga kwa sababu uh, hatuelewi nia yake. Kwa kwa zaidi ya makasisi 20 wa kanisa la Kianglikani kutoka katika jimbo la Kitale wamewaomba mamemomba mkuu wa kanisa hilo askofu Jackson Ole Sapete kuchukua hatua kuhusu madai ya askofu mstaafu wa jimbo la Kitale Stephen Kewasis kuingilia usimamizi wa, wa kanisa hilo makasisi hao wamesema kuwa Kewasis amekuwa akivuruga utendakazi wa mrithi wake askofu daktari Emmanuel Chemengich And that thing has been there for quite a long time, but it's like he has not been taking that one for uh, as, as it's supposed to be, but as he has been taking it for granted for quite a long time. Watch a archbishop at Usaidie act kwa ile report ya provision synod ambaye walikuja kufanya task force. Watu hiyo report ya raka ili mamba haa yote ya malizike. Kwa sababu, hata na ile vile kazi South African Bishop anafanya hatumi katiba ya kanisa. Mwisho wa taarifa za mbiu ya KTN mtazamaji lakini taarifa kuu ambayo tumekuwa matunaifuatilia hadi kufikia hivi sasa ni kuhusiana na taarifa kutoka kwa JSC ile tume ambayo inaangazia sana masuala ya huduma za mahakama ambapo wameweza kupokea taarifa kutoka kwa walalamishi mbalimbali mbali. ikawa lazima kujitokeza mbele ya vyombo vya habari leo na kuweza kuzungumzia malalamishi dhidi ya majaji mbali mbali na cha msingi kile ambacho kimetokea ni kwamba kuna baadhi ya kesi ambazo zimetupiliwa mbali ikiwemo ile kesi ambayo na umsi na, na jaji njoki ndungu ambapo ilikuwa imewasilishwa katika mahakama ima imekuwa imewasilishwa na mmoja ya wale ambao wako wamelalamikia lakini cha msingi pia ni kwamba mahakama ime ama tume hiyo ya, maha, ya huduma za mahakama imetoa ama imetoa taarifa yake hivi sasa na kusema kwamba kuna baadhi ya majaji ambao itabidi 